friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm actually here to bring you messages today. This time of the angel kind. But today we're going to be choosing from Shadows of Light Oracle cards. And this is going to be angel number one, the angel of time. Angel number two, the violent angel. And the angel number three. And that will be the Angel of Alchemy. Now, for those of you that have been to my channel before, you repeat offenders, I love you guys, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome back. And for those of you that are brand new to my channel, a very warm welcome to you, where I hope that you will feel, um, yeah, I hope that you'll feel just that welcoming vibe, that loving vibe, and that safe zone just to be you, okay? So we are equal opportunity offenders here, and I hope that you, Get in where you fit in. Without further ado, I'll meet you at your pile. Hi, pile number one. You have selected the Angel of Time. Working too hard, my friends. And while I totally get this, actually, let me not lie, I 10,000% get this. I'm a little bit of a workaholic myself always involved in too many projects. Um, we're here to talk about it, okay? So first of all, I wanna tell you, I do notice number 40, that reduces to number four. To me, that talks about stability. That talks about the four corners of the earth, the four corners of your home. Um, that's about making things solid, bringing and manifesting um, a lot of stability to your root chakra. So those of you that work with the chakras, know that the root chakra talks about fight and flight and fear and how am I going to sustain myself and things like that, especially during these times that are really certainly crazy. Now, I'm, I'm not going to talk about all that. Y'all know where you are in your corner of the earth, right? But uh, I do want to talk about you just burning the candle, not only on both ends, but burning the candle on three different ends. So, this little angel is really here to alert you that maybe you're spending too much time online, too much time um, on your devices, on your laptop, on your iPad, whatever the case may be, right? On your computer in general, your desktop, those of you that work on your desktops. And um, this could be that, you know what, I, the angel of time is just saying, you know what, spread your wings a little, because at this point you have spent so much of your life immersed, like, I'm plugged in, okay, literally, like you are plugged in, your cell phone is plugged into the wall and recharging or whatever, and you are plugged into your cell phone 24 seven almost. And so I think that it is a time to lift up your head, to kind of look around you and take a pulse at what's happening around you, take a pulse at how you fit in life without your devices. What if everything were to shut down instantaneously? And most of us are gonna have that freak out moment or that freak out week, month, whatever the case may be. And yeah, this is true, but <clears throat> you have worked so hard to the bone, to the point where you have become one of the cogs. Um, and if you don't keep working, it feels like everything else falls apart, but that's really an illusion. Um, you are more than just a big project. You are more than running a hospital or running a mental ward or, <laughs> or running the police um, department, or running policies and politics, I don't know. You're more than running the grocery stores and, and thousands of chains. You're more than running your household. You're more than um, running a store, or you're more than trying to run your own, uh, your own time in your own day, but basically running ourselves to the ground is the message, right? And I can't help but just think about how her wings are really reflective of the sunflowers. And I love that for you because I'm, if we don't look up, there's no way that we're going to be seeing what's blooming around us. And that is the urge, is that when you really take flight, you need that light, you need um, wind, and then you need effort as well. It's not all about effort. So consider that um, making a ton of effort may be counterintuitive to you actually lifting off and achieving the things that you really want and being able to gain a higher perspective because if she is forced into these cogs or forces herself into them or himself into them, this is gender neutral channel, you guys know that, um, then there's no real way to kind of 
elevate and gain a higher perspective and there's no sense of like freedom all of a sudden we're cyborgs right and so that's the caution and that is a danger i want to go ahead and pull a charm for you guys let's pull a charm what do we need to know about the angel of time working too hard for my pile number one okay love so you are divinely protected and so the message here is just to love not only are you loved beautiful pile number one but i'm gonna tell you that you bring love to everything and one of the greatest things that you can do for yourself and to others um is to really get out of the grind the mindset of work is the only thing that matters it provides stability and really address your mind, body, and soul as well, okay? There are more things to it. Um, there are secret rubies to be had, okay? Also, the crystal ruby might be um, something that you might want to look up and perhaps wear. That is a message for you. Um, I feel like you could be really intense as well. You are divinely guided and divinely protected, okay? So don't be so fearful about... Um, everything depends on you to run straight. I totally get it, but we need to change a little bit to help ourselves feel free. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, give you some numbers as well, and I'll list them in your, um, under the comment section as well. But here are some numbers for those of you guys that like to deal with numbers, look up numbers, angel, angel numbers, whatever the case may be, let's do this. So hopefully this is not too loud for you. Angel number one, what messages do we have? Okay, oh look at that. We've got the numbers five five, the number 60 could be important, and the number zero. So first off, I'm noticing um, the five's a lot of changes, a lot, a lot of changes. And uh, so that's gonna be important to you. The number 60 could matter, somebody could be turning 60, or just the number six if you reduce it. Um, that is for me the number of victory. That That's what that would represent. Oh, you can't even see the dice, darn it. Okay, here, let's move everything over because now I see what's up. Voila, better. Okay, and so um, yeah, the six is a number to me of victory and I love that for you. I hope that comes out on camera as well. And um, and the number zero could be talking about cycles, about repetition, but it is a divine number. It is the, it's sort of like plummeting into nothingness. Like I feel like you would feel like you're jumping into nothingness. It is a cycle of completion. It's a perfect number, um, basically. So you could maybe um, look up those numbers as angel numbers. You can add them all up whatever it is that you would like to do with them okay so those are the messages for you as far as that goes we're going to pull a couple of tarot and i'm going to move her just so we have a little bit of room all right so for angel number one, what messages do we have for my angel number one? Why is the angel of time here? Why is it working too hard? Please, for my pile number one, let's find out. The three of cups. So the angel of time is here to help us remember that it's gonna be really important also not just to work, 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 but to enjoy, to have um, that sense of family, to have that sense of unity, the connectivity to other people. So by plugging in so much to other things, and I have done it, I work like a maniac, neglected a lot of my interpersonal relationships, um, a single mom, I, I raised my son, um, basically myself. I was divorced when I was like four and that was pretty, when he was four, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, no, oh my gosh, four months, hello. Okay, yeah, so he was four months old when I got divorced and so I raised him pretty much myself. Um, and I feel like I did miss out a lot on his growing up and a lot of his formative things because I was working all the time just trying to provide. And so I feel like a lot of us are in that situation as well, I get it. 
but here's a time to really we're being told to look up enjoy the moment enjoy celebrations enjoy um what you have in life like what it is that you prize the people that you prize really get into the juice of life um the number three is about collaboration cooperation and creativity okay so that could be of importance to you now i'd like to get a little bit of information on your personal situation here please um why do we have this angel of time here about working so hard it could be an overactive mind it could be physically working too much all the above for card number for pile number one why do we have an angel of time here let's find out bad health and it's really weird because i was kind of feeling that um and so this could be that someone's ill around you or you yourself are ill or the potential you have the potential to run yourself to the ground because if i add those numbers the 31 reduces to a number four which is an echo of the angel of time right and so we all have to kind of deal with our own uh mortality <clears throat> and how we consider and think about things but it's going to be really important for you to take care of yourself so you don't run yourself to the ground and induce like a bad health situation whether it's burnout whether it's something more serious um regardless of what it would be we don't want that to transpire now if you are currently taking care of someone or you have someone in the forefront like maybe your spouse is sick or a significant other you have sick family members that depend on you and that's why you're burning the candle <clears throat> from three ends instead of two <clears throat> excuse me um it's still very important that you are present and that you really look at i mean look at how dismal and dingy and like so sad and oppressive that environment is and just outside if you were able to stick his head out the window and look it's just lush and beautiful so a lot of what we look at also has a impact on our mindsets now this is a really weird thing but since we're talking gadgets and gizmos and electronics and how we fit into that world as well um a good suggestion would be for you to go ahead and change your um desktop <clears throat> saver desk saver even if it is to humor me or momentarily or test it out for the next week or so into something that's nature that brings you peace and abundance and zen um change all of them all of your wallpapers just to remind you um, that you are connected to Mother Earth, that is a higher source, that you're connected to spirit, that you are a divine being, that you are spirit, your pure spirit, radiant light, undergoing a human experience, okay? So that is a reminder. Why else do we have the angel of time working too hard, please? I'm being told that, you know, life is gone in a flash of a pan and that, um, you know, it moves quickly. And so we want to enjoy while we can. And so this is not an ominous like to pro promote fear, but this is just fact. For example, like what I did tell you that, um, you know, I raised my son and, and there just wasn't a lot of time. Um, and I allowed it. So there wasn't a lot of time to just really enjoy and savor every moment of it. And frankly, I wasn't in a mental position to really enjoy a lot with him. Um, I was feeling very stressed and I had a lot of demons that I was trying to work through as well. So it's not like I was an absentee and he was with me, but um, I feel like emotionally I couldn't really enjoy things as much, right? Now what jumped out right here is a main male so maybe this person factors into your story maybe you are partnered married or in a complication ship where there is a main male maybe you are the main male right so hopefully i have a couple of guys watching my channel as well who knows but um i'm gonna say that with a main male uh this person is very like traditional this is like i can take care of everything no i got all of this no i'm the one that's plugged into electronics maybe i'm the it person maybe i'm an engineer maybe i'm um whatever the case may be into um into all the codes and things like that and so maybe people just really depend traditionally on you and you feel that pressure it is still very important to take that time out. Now, if this is not you, if this is referring to someone else, let's just take a peek more. More information, please. By the way, I am super excited. You guys noticed our new little setup um, with the phases of the moon and the tree of life here. I'm just like, yay. Yeah. 
Okay, you're welcome. But uh, what else do we have? Why do we have the main melt here, please? With the angel of time working too hard. Someone you know could just be working too hard. You could be a witness to this. Show me, please. Why is the main male here for pile number one? Show me now. The six of pentacles. This person is generous. They give of themselves. You give of yourself. Um, they give with... with a mindset of I have enough, I have plenty, maybe that's why you work so much. It's like the mindset of not only do I want to provide for myself, for those um, under my care, under my charge, whatever the case may be, uh, but I also want to provide stability. And since I am the stable one, I want to be able to give. I want to have a, a heart that has um, charity to give to others, okay? I think that that's part of the mindfulness of this card. And I think that the heart chakra is definitely a really, really big deal with you and this pile. So be sure that you are taking care of yourself. Let me pull one last message for you. So for pile number one, let's find out. Okay. The Knight of Swords, you could be someone who wants the truth and nothing but the truth and cut through the quick and no nonsense, right? Um, so you definitely, what is this about? I was intending on pulling one, but you know, Spirit has other ideas. Why is this Knight of Swords here, please? Poor pile number one. Pile number one, let's find out. Some of you guys could be having to go through a surgery. Three of Pentacles again, another nod to number three. We got the number six and the dice earlier, or 60. So um, I just see a lot of repetition. Here's a six, so you know, three can go into six, obviously. I just see a lot of like threes, like cooperation, collaboration, creativity, um, mastery, all the cogs of working together. Isn't that ironic? All the cogs working together, but uh, you could be involved in a lot of projects with different people, but it is time to slow down to take care of you. And right when I look down, the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So this is about taking care of yourself, taking care of um, your abundance, of enjoying your abundance. What good is it if we make all this money and yet we can't enjoy it or don't enjoy it and make time to really... Um, look around and think wow look at all of, that my hands produced or everything that i have that i could share with other people i can also really enjoy myself so those messages are for you um enjoy abundance in every form okay abundance is also having time off taking the weekend off not turning on any computer for the weekend doing an electro electronic detox that was hard to say so things like that um, might be good for you at this time. Okay, with that, I will leave you. Much love. Thank you so much. Smash that like button. Like, show me, like, like comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> I'm making up my own words, you guys. Thank you so much and much love to you. Namaste. Hi, pal number two. Thank you for joining me. So here is your reading, The Violet Angel. I'm not going to lie. I am riveted. I absolutely love this artwork, first of all, the Oracle shadows and, of Shadows and Light. And um, I just love how she's putting her hand on her hip and she's kind of like, you know, um, I've worked hard, things are really tough. And now the light of dawn is breaking. So this is breaking dawn, the violent, violet angel, <laughs> violent. <laughs> well, it could be violent too, maybe you've had, um, a past or a life where things have been really rough you've experienced violence i don't know and so this is not a trigger reading whatsoever but uh you take what fits and you leave the rest right that's what we do here now i just want to talk to you a little bit about the violet angel and uh just how this is designed to really help you to see hope to know that even though you've been through the worst of it that is exactly what it was the worst of it <clears throat> you've made it through you may feel like you're a little bit tattered, a little bit worn for the wear, a little bit exhausted, but I want to tell you that you come from regality, okay? I don't care what you make. Um, money in this world means it's just nothing, okay? It's not real. 
<clears throat> that sounds weird. But uh, yes, we need money. <clears throat> it's a currency that we have um, agreed upon to uh, establish value. But real value is in people. Real value is in who you are about, what you are about, um, what you're made of. And so don't think that your bank account and the numbers have anything to do with anything that really reflects on you. Okay. I don't know why I said that, but that's for one person out there. Now, I want to just talk about the color violet for a moment. It's an incredibly spiritual violet. It is an off take two to this like purple dress. So um, the breaking of dawn is just when you need some rest, a little bit of respite when you've been through it. And also when you're needing that encouragement to know that things are changing for you. I think that you are incredibly poised, incredibly like you have been through a lot of ish, right? With grace though. You've done it with grace, with... Um, one foot in front of the other with not complaining, with not questioning. And maybe you have at different times, but to the outer world, you haven't been like whining and, oh, you know, my lot in life is so difficult. That's not you. Um, I think that you've handled things with grace. You've made the best with what you've had. You've continually elevated. And I feel like you are someone who just, maybe your name is Grace or Gracie, or there is an element of you that, um, people say wow she's really graceful you know maybe you kind of glide when you walk in a room I don't know but also um, Saint Germain's uh, flame can be of importance to you <clears throat> the violet flame you might want to look that up it is like a flame of protection and um, I just think that your sass, your pizzazz is going to be stepping up. You're going to feel not the weight of the world any longer on your shoulders. I know I awkwardly stated that, but it was man's encouragement. You're not going to feel like things are just weighing you down anymore. So I encourage you to look up a little bit every now and then and know that the dawn is breaking through for you, for you specifically, my friend. My pile number twos, okay? I just want to tell you that um, you are... A divine being undergoing just a human experience and so this human experience is not easy it's not for the faint-hearted and here we are so I feel like you are um, you've kicked butt and you're, you're taking numbers later that's just how I feel I feel like you are tough and yet you're gentle and graceful and loving in every sense of the word okay now I'm gonna go ahead and pull a number for you. Well, actually, I'm going to pull a charm for you. So let's do a charm for our violet angel. Violet, not violent. And it is a number 23, which reduces to 5. So you could have had a lot of changes, especially recently, just a ton of changes. Okay, so we're pulling a couple of different. Um, this reminds me always of the family crescent. Okay. So family and how they are viewed in the world could be a thing for you, could be uh, a topic, okay? I have the siren. She could be a, um, a mermaid. So I do feel like I, I have mermaid vibes on the verge of a little bit siren-y. I feel like people look at you and you are alluring and you've been through dark places, but you're very powerful and very beautiful and so you lure people um without even meaning to like men and women alike it doesn't even matter you're equal opportunity offenders i love to say look people want to wife you people want to husband you people um when they look at you they see everything that you've grown that you've built including the my fur baby sparkles coming through um but they see how committed you are to really evolving to taking um what is that phrase when you know you get lemons you make lemonade when you've made the best out of everything you indeed have come through and shine forth in a way that nobody expected i feel like you are a surprise to many people okay um you are like a beautiful geode when you crack it open and you see amazing colors things like that okay and um so people look to you and that's what they see um a little bit about the siren thing it's not that i feel like you dress provocatively or even try to lure people in but i feel like your your way your energy specifically <clears throat> brings forth and invites um invites 
people to really want to know more about you. They want to know where do you come from? Who is your family? And what is it that you're committed to? What drives you so much that you work so hard and you are uncomplaining? You don't like compare yourself to other people and think I've had it so hard. No, you just have done the work and you did your best and um, that shines beautifully as well. And so that time of being weary, of soul weariness, of exhaustion is coming to an end, friend. I, I um, encourage you with those words, okay? Look at the breaking dawn because it's here just for you. So, you know what? Let me do some numbers. Let's do some numbers for those of you that like things like that. Hopefully it's not too loud. Numbers for my pal number two. I can't get rid of this. Okay. <clears throat> we've got one. Oh, we've got a blank. We've got 80. And we've got seven. So I'm going to go ahead and write these out for you. They will also be <clears throat> in your description box below okay so right now um the number one is all about new beginnings you are having new beginnings for sure i wonder how to put these um this blank is just i feel intuitively like this is just even the colors are echoing her dress is telling me that you are starting out with a blank slate. You are beginning something completely different than you've ever had before. It's a new phase of life. It could be also such a relief to you um, because the A is auspicious. The A is abundance. But the A can also be a little bit obsessive. So be careful with your thoughts a little bit at this time. Um, I'm feeling like divine protection vibes as well because we have like the eight to me if you bump it on its side it's almost like a nimbus a um I forget what it's called with the L but anyways it's um the infinity symbol for divine protection and then I have the number seven which is a higher spiritual aspect of any one of us so maybe coming more into your spirituality maybe coming more into your purpose and this can be could have been handed down to you by your um <clears throat> by your ancestors, by your, um, yeah, through your DNA as well. It's just higher than just like who, um, genealogy and things like that. I mean, it, I feel like it, this could be your lineage, your family lineage is what I was trying to say. So I've got those messages out for you. We're gonna leave those as an anchor and pile number two. Let's find out why do we have the angel the violet angel here please i can't help but feel like you are like a badass you are a little bit like my quintessential emo person or um mm, or gothic depending on your era right a little bit dark and tantalizing and alluring and i feel like that's why you're a really a mermaid you are a true blue and like pure in heart and very high-minded, spiritual aspected. But um, I feel like people look at you and they're like, wow, like she's really hot, he's really hot. Um, and you have almost like, a, don't take offense please, but almost a little bit of a seediness to you. And that's part of the lure. It's like you're so spiritual minded and yet you might like fishnets. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm all for it. <laughs> But uh, that's a vibe that we get. Like, you might be all about, like, um, unicorns and, and rainbows deep in your heart. and But you've been through some stuff. And maybe your makeup and your attire reflect that as well. And you like um, thigh-high boots and wearing a lot of black and um, wearing dark makeup. I don't know your life. But uh, it seems to me like uh, we're drawn to you because you're kind of like polar opposite. We don't really know quite what to make of it. We're like confused and turned on all at once. <laughs> okay, so what else do we have for my Violet Angel number two? Let's find out. Okay, so this came out in the other bad house. So this could be you are looking at the world right now and just wondering about your health and wondering about the health of others. We are concerned with, um, 
current events. I don't even want to talk about that, but here we are. But maybe you're watching the news, maybe you're watching media and things like that. And you're like, when is it going to be over? You're feeling the weight literally of the world. Maybe you've had um, family members that have been ill um, and diagnosed with things such as uh, the coronavirus. Maybe you have had um, a obsessive mindset with what's going on um maybe you've been watching a lot of again the media and feeling and fearing a lot about what's going on with people's health okay if you do have bad health um it, you know it could be a reference obviously to you and you're looking at gosh for some of you guys you're suffering with chronic fatigue fibromyalgia um, migraines headaches Okay, look, I just got this jumper and I'm taking it for you. Um, so I feel like your vibration could have been taken down a couple of notches because you're dealing with underlining things. I heard inflammation. That's not for everybody. And I'm not a doctor, obviously. Um, yeah. So please be smart about how you, how you listen to people like me and everybody else, right? But I'm going to tell you that you have sudden health coming to you. Look, 777 could be really important to you. Maybe it's time to, for you to buy it responsibly, folks. A lotto ticket. I don't even play. I don't even know how to play. But uh, a scratcher, whatever the case may be. Or pull, put in a couple of coins and some, um, some machines, whatever the case may be. However that goes. I don't know anything about gambling. But you know what I'm talking about. You could be on an upswing on Lucky Streak. Maybe you're finding solutions, herbal solutions, or things that really help reset your body. I heard fasting for some of you. Fasting is going to be really helpful in resetting those underlying chronic conditions. Again, seek your medical provider. This is not it, okay? But these are just uh, what I'm hearing and I'm repeating what I'm hearing. So what else do we have here? For our Violet Angel, let's find out. Can, oh, wow. Okay, so we're taking two. Look at great fortune awaits you and community. So this could be like you rallying around your community, your community rallying around you. Um, having celebration, put community in the center for some reason. I feel this. So maybe you are someone that is helping, like you are a nurse or a doctor or um, somebody who helps out with insurances or checking at the hospitals right now. And what you do is in the health profession, that could be, you know, the whole bad health thing. But uh, I'm going to say that there is a cycle of completion here. Like you have paid your dues and it's not like, <coughs> excuse me. We walk into this world and think, okay, am I done? Am I done? Am I done? Can I get, you know, the benefits or whatever now? Can I get the good stuff now? It's not really like that. Um, but I feel like you are really in for a treat. You're in for an upswing. Great fortune. Sudden wealth. This could be you. Maybe you do win a scratch or maybe you do. I mean, if you do, please remember as little people say, hey, it was a great idea to buy and just stop in and drop an emoji and say, hey, I just won something or whatever. That would be kind of cool. Um, super interesting. But uh, I want to just say that even sudden wealth is just realizing and looking up and seeing the abundance that you currently have. So don't get caught up so much on the money once again in your bank account and things like that. And I don't feel like you're even that kind of person, not even close. Um, but I feel like that's why things are going to come for you into you, the sudden wealth and the great fortune. So maybe you're going to meet people. Maybe you're going to be in a community where you feel like abundant. Maybe you're going to um, really kind of meet your people, meet your tribe. That's what I feel like this is saying is a lot of you guys are going to be meeting your tribe. I feel like because of that otherworldliness on this card, particularly not just the deck, but this card, um, that you felt really separated and alone and not like a part of anything in this world. Even other people that might physically look like you mentally are not like you because you are all pure light and pure healing and pure love. So I feel like you love you guys are healers with this bad health thing. And with the um, Violet Angel, it's just that you guys are focused on higher mindedness, on um, really assisting, for example, integrating the childhood trauma 
and the wounded child integrating that with the adult self and helping other people make that cross over and that transition and helping them to achieve their best um, their best life and their best version of themselves okay so this could get very complicated very fast as you can see but I do feel like with great fortune you're really generous you give freely and those give multiply not only do they multiply but they become butterflies you give the gift of transformation of transformation and transmutation I expect this reading to get that deep but I feel like you are looked at and admired by your community that you're finding your tribe and that you don't care what people look like you don't care what they bring to the table you don't care what's in their bank account it's about people and what you're made of what cloth are you made of what is in your fiber your DNA what is your mindset are you a selfish person are you all about me 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 and whatever the eyes can see or are you spiritual are you looking for ways to really help energetically lift up humanity and lift up people and really help heal wounds that people can't even see maybe even with a bad health it's just like healing childhood traumas that people haven't been able to get through and looking at innovative ways of doing that and really upping your game and helping lift other people up as well i don't feel like you do things just for you okay i feel like you're a humanitarian um and that word philanthropist if i mispronounce it so sorry but you know what i'm saying okay so with that i'm like blown away by you guys so thank you so much and i'm even honored if you if this is your pal please do drop a little emoji um and let me know that this is your pal or just jot down some 777s seven, seven, on there because i mean that's just amazing i'm super interested if this resonates with you guys much love to you um and with that your crystal is going to be pyrite before i forget okay pyrite is going to be um, something that you could really benefit from at this point in time okay so with that i will leave you namaste thank you so much Hi, pile number three, this is Griselle, and welcome to your pile. So right off the bat, we're gonna open up with the angel of alchemy. That was your choice in the miracle. And I love this angel because I feel like, look at how she has her arms crossed over her chest, like protecting her heart. And obviously these cards are a little bit like, the angels all look really expressive and some of them even look very sad with their eyes. A lot of emotion coming through in this deck, the Oracle of Shadows and Light. I think it's incredibly beautiful. But the reason why I really actually like this um, is that we're protecting our heart chakra right now, okay? So it could be a situation where you feel like you want to protect your heart. You don't, um, you don't want to be in the receptive mode to anything that you don't want to hear. Let's just say that. <clears throat> um, I feel like there could be a lot of like bad news around you, maybe family members getting sick or other people getting sick or, you know, unexpected events that you feel kind of like threatened almost like your um mortality comes more into the forefront issues with things like um am i going to be okay are my loved ones okay um issues with thinking about how i perceive death and things like that but i want to encourage you because this message is about healing this is about finding the miracle in between like if you are sick or someone is sick or whatever the case maybe maybe you're into holistic medicine maybe you're into um, naturopathic medicine maybe you're into acupuncture acupressure the healing arts cupping um any of those using food as medicine <clears throat> using oils essential oils things like that would all fall into this category as far as i'm concerned and so I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of like protecting your heart, protecting other people's hearts, but also looking at the in-between. Like let's say, for example, somebody's suffered with uh, chronic fatigue for many years and you have the ability to kind of look um, the in-between. Okay, this is diagnosis and they say there's no cure or whatever. And then you're able to look and find some resolution or some solution and some health in the in-between official there is no help for this, let's say, for example, and you're like, oh yeah, there is, There, there's acupressure, acupuncture, there is um, hydrotherapy, there's colonics, I don't even know, there's just a plethora out there. And so I wanna encourage you to really look at things that are like not necessarily super explored. I am not a doctor, that is my disclaimer, you don't come here for medical advice anyways. But what I will say is that listen to your intuition, listen to your spirit, 
and there is not anything to fear right here so um i'm just really i guess ask you to open up your heart to alternative uh ideas in medicine and things that could be of help to you or your family or alternative ideas of what life and death mean okay um because really energy is energy we are here for a short minute and we return to source we return to energy once again and it then it begins all over again um and i just want to encourage you to um maybe gain a higher perspective a different perspective of what this all means to you okay because i feel like there's an element of fear and doubt and um and perhaps you've been watching the news too much it's okay to unplug and um you know gain your sense of balance your sense of self your sense of security by not uh watching everything that you see on the news and by being really perhaps even selective and saying okay i'm gonna watch 10 minutes of this or i'm gonna watch it once a week or whatever the case may be to keep your own personal finger on the pulse of what's going on globally right um so you could also be someone who really enjoys um <clears throat> excuse me somebody who really enjoys uh dressing in black or in darker colors you could be also someone who's very quiet you don't express what you feel what you think to other people um you could be perceived as being shy but you're very private um also, I feel like you have a lot of fears that you haven't aired out, you haven't expressed, and maybe like therapy might be of help to you. And this is not slamming. This is somebody who I have a lot of fears, you guys, and I struggle and I've overcome a lot and I still have to grow in these areas. And so it is a human experience, okay, just to um, really undergo and examine all different aspects of ourselves we have different times where we come into full circle we make peace with something and then it picks up again and then we have to kind of reconfigure it realignment think about things again and achieve a new understanding of things so life is a constant change our belief systems are constantly changing and evolving and hopefully uploading so don't be discouraged by that okay um, I want to tell you that you are not the only one. You are not alone. And to do reach out if you're feeling any of these things, okay? To do reach out because <clears throat> I feel like people are not, like, I feel like my throat chakra is being affected. I feel like people don't talk about things like this. But also, I feel like you feel like you're alone, like you're like the only one. And sister or brother, you are not the only one. I'm here to tell you. Um, if you are struggling with something like this, and I probably have, or am currently struggling with the same thing, and many people are around you, and um, I don't want to say they're liars, <laughs> but I do want to say that they don't express, they don't talk about things that are real, and so they can make us feel kind of crazy, and we're not, okay? So I'm here for you. I just want to say it. pile number three. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and pull a gemstone for you let us find out what does pile number three need to know pile number three with the gemstones i hope this isn't too loud other people do it and i'm like god that's loud and here i am breaking my rules okay so i just got some extra for you okay what is okay we have love we have the word love so maybe people are expressing their love to you. Maybe people have a love for you. What is this here? Friends. So you have friends that actually have a deep love for you. Okay. And I feel like right now, this case, this little mermaid, um, she comes across differently in every reading. It's so interesting to me. But in this case, I feel like you are actually attaining who you really are. Um, I think about the scales of a fish, the scales of this mermaid in this case, and how they do shimmer and change color. And I feel like that's just the depth of what you're undergoing. And um, it could be a fearful place if we don't have someone to kind of measure against or someone that um, can walk us through or even someone to listen to that speaks and thinks like we do and understands the way we do. That could be really frightening for sure. And uh, I know that 
okay, let me just confess. I mean, I felt like my whole life a freak, right? It just feeling so different and things like that. But I just want to tell you that you understand you have the ability to walk in between places that are like this narrow, okay? And what I mean by that is like people don't understand the subtleties. You can get right in between things that seem like hardcore facts and see the great matter in between, okay? I feel like you could work with shadows, you could work with an understanding of what other people just do not see, period, whatsoever. Now, with that is gonna come a different color of scales. Um, in your persona so you're going to be i feel like you're more of an iridescent in spite of all this black going on i feel like your spirit your inner core you are like multicolored and reflective of people around you and um, i feel like you do have a lot of power but what's holding you back also is a lot of fear so we'd like to get away from that I do feel like people tell you that they love you and i feel like you have some secret admirers that actually really adore and love you and have a very special place in their heart um for you specifically and i do feel also that you have a lot of friends around you that can actually relate so i'm gonna go ahead and scoot this over for us while we do this reading right here and i hope that you are encouraged by this reading um if you can relate to it please do like smash that button share comment subscribe whatever the case may be you know the deal you know the drill darling right we're gonna go ahead and get into it right now with some numbers i want to pull some numbers for you i will put this also in the description box below so that you can actually see the numbers that came out for you you don't have to remember them necessarily so for pile number three what numbers do we have for the all right so we have after i rearrange all this carefully and i'm rearranging again ocd anybody we have the number four we have a blank right here. We have another blank. I'm all getting excited. Oh my God, stop. And another blank. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you why this is really cool. Because the number four is all about stability. But what creates your stability? We don't quite know yet. It's up to you to manifest these things. Um, and I feel like you're in a developmental stage right now where you can pick. So I want you, sister, I want you, brother, to go ahead and name what it is that you want for yourself. Whether it's security, whether it's clear understanding, whether it's bringing about your talents into the earthly realm and helping other people, helping yourself first, of course, and you can help other people. Whatever the case may be, I want you to to name it okay and that's why these blanks are here for you and i love that for you because um it leaves a lot of room for you to actually pick and choose now i do feel like because of the number four came up and it's the only number that came up out of all these dice i mean hello you are quite unusual you are focused on what makes you feel stable and if it's not stable you don't want it um, I'm looking at this golden light right back here. Oh, tiger eye is going to be your crystal, by the way. Tiger eye is going to be something that is going to be really protective and help you with your self-esteem. It comes in a plethora of different colors, but um, whatever you choose to do. What else? Oh, tangent. Okay, so the number four is all about stability. So I want you to really focus on what makes you feel stable, what makes you feel... Um, special and you have cooperation with the number 21 right here it reduces to a number three so number three is all about creativity so i feel like you are a creative soul i feel like you're feeling isolated because you're not expressing what it is like who you really are out into the world and allowing the rest of us to step up and meet you halfway i mean i'm a weirdo too hi so i'm not saying you're a weirdo you may or may not be but um yeah i'm not necessarily what's mainstream or normal by any means right and uh, i just want to say that i'm okay with that and there's a lot of people that can accept you and love you for who you are so whatever your truth is um i'm just really asking for you to really examine and consider what it is that you want for your life and express your truth a little bit more freely it's going to be really important for you to do this in order to manifest because you have a clean slate and i'm hearing you have the white board and nobody's written on it like call what you want okay um call yourself free from whatever it is that is hindering you maybe it's fear of judgment of not fitting in well sister well brother we don't fit in anyways right 
So um, you could be a death doula. You could work with people like in hospice, uh, people that are needing some care, and you could have an otherworldliness about you, a connection about you that really helps soothe other people um, wherever they are at in life, okay? I feel like you are a divine helper. So what else do we need to know? I feel like you're creative too. You could paint, um, you could dance, you have different ways of expressing. I feel like a lot of journaling coming from you. Um, some of you guys can really benefit by exploring automatic writing to fill in these blanks, okay? Fill in the blanks is going to be important for you. Okay, so what do we have here for our pile number three? What do we have for the, let's find out. Toil and labor. What is it that you're working so hard on? What is it that feels so dreary? What is it that is exhausting? Maybe you're just working late into the night, burning the midnight oil, looking at how the machine just works. Maybe you're examining things on a global level and seeing, okay, all these cogs are working together and it's creating X, Y, Z. Do I buy it? Do I understand it? What, when my hands touch, um, this great big machine that we call life or the matrix, if we're living in a matrix, I don't know. Uh, what is my part in it and how can I um, differentiate, even stir the ship or change things to better humanity or better mankind, better myself? I do see that there is a kitty in the background here. You could have a familiar. You could work with animals. You could get special messages through animals that most people would never even consider. Okay. What else do I have from Apollo number three? Let's find out. Lovers, what is going on? Okay, this is a choice between the old and the new. Number 15, it reduces to number six about celebration, about being on top, about being looked at also. This one just jumped. Okay, the official person. So maybe you are looking at perhaps jobs, changing jobs, being celebrated, entering into a whole different um a herd socioeconomic system entering into something completely different that you've never done before. So something tried and true that you have done or dealt with in the past and something that is completely um, new. So this can have something to do with current events with, um, I don't know, life as you know is totally different and you want out of this toil and labor you want it to be something because i feel like there's just something wanting to come for that you haven't quite named yet that's more spiritual more um spirit based more grounded on so many different levels okay maybe you could be into making balms and um and lotions or things that heal people heal wounds whatever the case may be and uh i feel like it's just time to invest in you maybe you're going to start uh creating things that you can sell to the rest of us like candles and um oils or whatever the case may be or offer your services uh cupping and things like that or massage therapy or any therapy so whatever your thing is i feel like you start uh, start naming things and even exploring and experiencing the joy. Things don't have to be toil and labor. If you're doing something that causes you great love, great devotion, whatever it is that sends you into the stratosphere of, oh my goodness, things are really good. Like I enjoy myself. I lose myself, whether it's cosplaying and going into a different world and communicating like that or whatever the case may be whatever your thing is whatever you enjoy just name it and go with that because i feel like it will evolve it will self mold as time goes on as you put energy effort and time into this okay that is the encouragement for you my love so what else do we have what else do we have for pile number three let's find out the hermit, this is a journey of going within. You have all the wisdom locked within you. Don't doubt yourself. Allow yourself to grab whatever it is that you have that's given you light, that's given you joy, that's made you feel like you are special and different from your past or even from within that you don't share with the world and allow that to come forth because that's what makes you special. And that's what you're bringing onto this earth to really help the rest of us, okay? There is a place for you and you are not so different and radically odd that the rest of us can't relate to. I don't care if you do taxidermy. I don't care if you 
I don't know, make necklaces out of teeth. I mean, whatever, you know. I feel like there is a specialness that you can offer now as your time to rise up and shine. What else do we need to know? Last messages, poor pal number three. Let's find out. Yeah, look, this is the same card that was in pile number two. You might benefit from watching pile number two as well, please. It's entirely up to you if you feel like it resonates now. This right here, you have a connection to animals, to pets, maybe even to birds, but things of the earth. I feel like even turtles, when they hear you, that's for one person, who knows. Um, they follow you, they hear you, they like your voice. Um, I feel like you are well-balanced, well-rounded. You just don't know it. You have a lot of abundance around you. Um, and again, I feel like you just kind of need to dive a little bit deeper into that aspect of yourself in order to feel like you have completed a rite of passage. I'm hearing a rite of passage or that you have completed a stepping stone and entering into a, I'm so sorry for shaking the camera, into a, a time in your life where you can name things and everything that was so obscure or so different about you, all the pieces are coming together, I promise you, okay? So it may not feel like it, just step into those moments. And I confidently feel like you are going to fill in these blanks, but the number four is about your stability. What makes you feel that comfort? What makes you feel that love, whether it's drawing or anime or reading or writing, poetry, haikus, I don't care, whatever that one thing is, automatic writing. I feel like um, you have many different talents. Just start exploring that and looking at how you can bring it into uh, the 3D, okay? So with that, my lovelies, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Much love to you and namaste.